LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys. Um, you know, this is a trip down memory lane for the coach. Definitely a trip down memory lane, y'all. And I'm going to tell y'all something, man. You know, I used to do my business over here in this neighborhood. I, I done done some dumb stuff, man. I done done some dumb stuff. And, you know, the neighborhood, if you can look down here at the ground. You know, yeah, we do got some bloods. <laughs> we got some crips over here. And, you know, uh, yeah, it, it, it's a Nebraska thing. It's an Omaha thing over there. But, you know, of course, they done expanded it over here, man. And, you know, jokers, man, hey, all day long, there's something going on over here, man. But I, I, I did my share of dirt over here. But I'm going to tell y'all something, man. And this is something that y'all need to know. In this neighborhood, there are a lot of hardworking people, man, that's just trying to provide for their families. But, you know, you see a lot of things that absorb the value of this neighborhood. They take the value. Like right here. This right here is a church. Now, you know, I go to church. And y'all look at it. And it's not even a black church. It's, it's a Hispanic church, which, you know, in a black neighborhood, that's even worse. Because, to be honest, I've, I've been coming to this neighborhood for 20 years. This church has been there about eight years. And I ain't never seen them do anything, any kind of drives for the people in the neighborhood. Now, when they do drives or book bag drives, they do it, and it's all Hispanics. They do it for their people, which you can't hate on that because... <laughs> it's their people. That's what they do. But it's in the middle of the black community. And, you know, and not one person. I, I, I said, you know, hey, you know, what, uh, you know, why, 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 you know, why, why don't y'all advertise this? I went in there one day and I said, you know, man, y'all had this book bag drive every year, man, but do the people in the neighborhood know about this? And, you know, the guy got a little, you know, he started, like, getting nervous and all this other mess. And I guess he thought I was mad. I was, now I'm just asking the question. So, you know, he was getting all upset, man. I said, dude, I mean, do y'all, do people in the neighborhood know about this book bad drive? Well, uh, you know, man, we, we give book bads to anybody that come by. I'm like, yeah, but I don't think people know. Like, you'll see your people that's walking by, man. And, you know, they see a bunch of people outside. And see, there's no signs. There's no signs, but you go inside and it's a book bad drive for school. And I'm like, okay. But see, here's the thing. That's, you know, that's in this neighborhood. They absorb the resources because... You know, people go to this church. They do stuff. And I'm just going to be honest. There are people that go in this neighborhood. They do stuff at that church. That church do, like, little grill outs and stuff. And, you know, folks in this community, they go buy stuff from that grill that, that they put out there. And they, they sell stuff. And people buy that stuff, man. But but don't nobody in the neighborhood know about the book drives. You know, and I, I, I actually do. I said, man, how you going to explain that? And he couldn't explain it. He just told me to leave. Now, I want you all to look over here in the distance. This is probably... <laughs> One of the biggest churches in Charlotte. Matter of fact, I'm gonna take. I ain't gonna take y'all in. We're gonna go around to the front because uh, reason why I want to show y'all huh, really and truly was mind blowing that y'all. It's gonna blow y'all mind, okay? Because this is a poor area. Now, when I come up here to the street, most of the businesses up here or the eateries or whatever you go into, these places, most of them are not ran by blacks. You know, they ran by somebody else. Which you know, but they take a lot of the dollar value and the resources. And it's kind of crazy, because I was just talking to a dude one day, and I said, man, I said, do they ever, um, you know, are the people in some of these stores, they nice to you? Man, they be watching like a hawk. And so I went into one of them, man. Now, I'll tell you which one I went into. I'm, I'm about to get up here to the corner now. I went up here, man. I don't even eat seafood. I went up there to uh, seafood. And it was ran by Asians. I went in there, and you know, yeah, it was rude. I said, now, how am I going to give you my money? How am I going to give you my money? And then you rude to me. I said, how did that make sense? I said, I just asked you a question. I just asked you about, like, you know, how often do y'all catch the fish and how often is it fresh? You know, I just asked a simple question because people, you eat seafood. I don't eat seafood. But I just went in there just to see if the guy was telling the truth. He was telling the truth. Yeah, man, most of the people over here, they rude to you, man. But see, I want to I walk around to this church. I want to show y'all, okay? How you doing, man? All right, man. Now, just about in every single neighborhood, like this one, there's a funeral home. I bet you all can tell me why that funeral home is there. And it's amazing, man, this funeral home. Now, there's a guy, there's a mortician, man. Real good brother, man. I forgot his name, man, but uh, he's a mortician, man, and he owns a funeral home, not in this area. But he goes out, man, and he speaks to these teenagers, man. You know these guys? Almost yearly, man, in that, in that funeral home, 
they got to prepare just from this neighborhood alone, man, over 100 teenagers a year, man. I'm talking about, well, I'm talking about in, in the area and around the city. You know, they, they, they prepare 100 bodies a year that are teenagers. They do much more than that, man. They making money hand over fist over there. But don't none of them guys ever come out and talk to these kids in the community, man, about the stuff that they doing. They don't do it. I mean, at the school, y'all didn't see the school beyond that. But I've been doing a program with them for about, what, 15 years. And you got kids in there. And T. Scott, I'm going I'm to email you. I ain't forgot about you. But, um, you know, it's a few of the kids that's rough behind the edges. And I go there, and I actually go, and I, and I make them kids exercise and work out. They don't be liking it, but they don't have no choice. Because I make them do what I tell them to do. <laughs> they, they exercise. Now, this is probably one of the biggest churches here. Y'all see how immaculate this church is? Y'all see this church? I go to, I go to church, man. I, I, I'm going to take y'all to my church. Man, I'm going to show y'all what my church have done in that area, man. They put some beautiful, affordable apartments, man, in that area. Low-income housing, but it's beautiful. And they look brand new. They even got pools and everything, and it's low-income for people that can afford it. But, you know, these guys, look at this, man. Look how great this look. But then you come to the neighborhood, <laughs> and it's like they, 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 they do nothing. Not nothing substantial. These guys, they collect a lot of money, man. You know, and I've heard, man, now these are, I've heard that this particular church, this beautiful, immaculate-looking church, this church alone probably takes in, on a, on a given Sunday, man, they can take in about thirty to $35,000 on a Sunday. This church can. But I'm, I'm going to make y'all laugh, because this, this right here is going to be the kicker. This is going to kick y'all in the behind. Now, in this neighborhood, you have a lot of people here, y'all. A lot of people. And they call this an open kitchen. And there's a lot of people here that's homeless and, and hungry that walk through there. But this is an open kitchen. Now look, it's say from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., right? Y'all say, oh, well, that's pretty cool. No. In that open kitchen, it's a cafe. And you got to go in and you got to pay for it. So if a homeless person were to walk in and say, I'm hungry, they ain't got no money, they can't afford it. Folks, I can't make this stuff up. I can't make this stuff up. So... And people would come at me and say, Coach, man, why are you talking about this church, man? They do good. See, look, I'm going to tell you, a real church, a real church for an open kitchen, they're not going to charge the homeless, y'all. They're not going to charge the homeless. They're not going to do it. You see, you got this church over here. You got that church back there. You got this, 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 uh, you got this uh, funeral home over here. They're zapping resources out of this community, and they don't do anything for that community. They don't do it. They don't even think to do it. And you know what? The people here are great, man. It's not a bad. It's not as bad as it used to be. It's bad. But the people here are hardworking people. They spend their hard-earned money in these shops, man. And these people in these shops, they take. They take and they take and they take. And then they got a nice little Bank of America over here where you can go put your money at. You know? Where the money that you do have that you don't have, that's what they do. And folks, I'm being real with y'all. See, this is the kind of stuff people always want to have an insight of, of, you know, why people are always talking about this and saying, because, man, it's wrong. I mean, it's straight up wrong. And my thing, that's my problem. And I'm going to take y'all back this way right here. Because I got to go meet a client here in a minute. But I'm going to take y'all back, man, because, you know, man, I don't mind people setting up their businesses and doing that. That's fine. And if you're going to have a business here, and if you're a foreigner, you know, don't be rude to the constituent. These are customers, man. But they are. They're very rude. That's just how it is. They're very rude. And sometimes, man, you know, they don't even want to entertain a deal with you. But they're in the heart of the black community. I'm telling y'all, but that church, that church back there takes the cake. That church takes the cake, y'all. And they don't do nothing, man. And they get in there, and they preach the word, and it sounds good. But then if you homeless or you broke and you can't afford no money and you can't afford no food in that open kitchen, guess what? You ain't getting nothing to eat. Folks, that's just how it is. I know. When I was younger, I've been in there before. And I had the food is cheap, but I had a couple of dollars. Me and a couple of buddies, we used to go by there and eat. But I'm conscious, man. I wouldn't go eat in there. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. And y'all look right here, you know. Here go another store. I know. I done had some run-ins, man, with the owner of this store, man. Mighty midget. <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all, man. Not black on. Not black on. I can tell you that right now. 
And there's some foreigners, man, that work in there. How you doing? Let me by. All right. Have a good one. Yeah, some foreigners, man, that work in here, man. And to be honest with y'all, these darn foreigners, man, they, they rude as hell, man. They rude. They real rude. But then, you know, they don't think that there's something wrong with that. But my video about to run out, y'all, but I just, man, I just thought I wanted to show y'all, man, because this is what's going on, man. All these shops right here, the nail shop. All, the only place that's actually black on right there is that place that says Nikki's. It's black on. But look, man, and the barbershop is. The rest of this? Nah, man. No. And then if I take y'all down and in, in further into the neighborhood back there, man, I mean, it'll make some of y'all cry, man. It's sad. It's sad. And people, you know, they just have all these questions, but it's, it's very, very sad. Because back in the in the 60s, man, everything here was, was black on in the 60s. Back in the early 60s, man, everything here, all these shops that were here, they were black on. And now, man, it's like, you know, the foreigners, you know, they've moved in. And it's like these foreigners, you know what they do, man? They take a course, man. They take a class on how to actually uh, deal with black people. Yeah, they take a class. And, you know, when they come over here, man, they already know what black people like. They know what kind of foods we get. And they already know what they have available. And that's just it. Some of them even try to get the lingo down, man. I mean, huh, can you really believe that? But, man, it's sad, man. And, and, you know, it's even more hurtful, man. That, you know, you see the Hispanic church over there, man. They take from the community. They do their little food drives and sell food and sell it. And it's like, okay, well, they're supposed to help their own. Well, I mean, why this big black church over here ain't doing nothing to help their own? Like, that, that's my thing. Like, why? What the hell, man? I, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's frustrating, man. And I've even went in there before, man. And I said, you know, man, and I went to the guy that's over the church. And I'm finna go. And I said, listen, man. There's some kids over there, man, at that school, that high school over there I do programs with, man. You think there's any way, man, you know, I can let some of these guys come into the gym and, well, you know, we got to approve that. And, you know, I said, well, how long do it take for an approval? Well, we got to meet for the board. And, well, how long does it take for the board to meet? Oh, that could take three to four months. What, just for y'all to tell me, you know, if I can have about three or four kids, at-risk kids, come in and use the gym. Tell y'all. But you guys tell me what you think, guys. Coach finna go ahead and head on out. This is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe.